Hey friends, welcome back to another video. So in this video that we are going to deal with a very brief introduction regarding the topic microscopy. The term microscopy is very familiar to the people from biological field and uh, microscopy we know that it's a particular instrument that has been frequently used in uh, biological science uh, to visualize certain biological specimen or sample and all. So there are different kinds of microscopy are there. Uh, for example, in case of light microscopy, it's used to illuminate the sample with a visible light and uh, visualize the sample. So next, uh, let's discuss certain terms which has been uh, associated with microscope. The first one is uh, magnification. So magnification means it's an action of magnifying or uh, the process of being magnified is what we call as magnification. The magnification of microscope is far better uh, than the magnified glasses. So uh, it can be said that if a particular object is being magnified for a thousand times or more than times, they having a better chance for uh, uh, for being that image blurred. But in case of microscope, that it never gonna be happen because the microscope that having a special property called a resolution. So resolution means it's having an ability to separate between two points is what we call as resolution. So the resolution of microscope is a far better more than the resolution of our eye okay so these are two important properties of microscope the first one was magnification and the second one was resolution so next we having an equation uh, for resolution power that is d is equal to lambda divided by n a where n a means numerical aperture and uh, so this n a numerical aperture can be written as n sine alpha where here this n is a refractive index and alpha is a defined the angle of light that enter okay so this is an equation d is equal to lambda divided by n a where n a is numerical aperture that is the lesser value will always result in higher resolution for getting a lesser value uh, in this equation that you can see that if the wavelength is more than d will be more this results in a lesser resolution whereas if the wavelength is less will results in d will be less and the resolution will be more and um, coming to next is if the refractive index you know that refractive index uh, in each medium will be different okay for example refractive index of air is 1.003 and refractive index of water is 1.33 or in case of refractive index of oil is 1.51 okay so every medium the refractive index varies so if the refractive index is more then d will be less as a result a resolution will be more at the same uh, condition itself if uh, the particular angle is more then d will be less and the resolution will be more but in case of angle if the medium is air 70 uh, degree will be the maximum angle for that okay so coming to next is uh, there comes an equation for finding out the total magnification so total magnification means uh, you know that the uh, particular microscope possesses eyepiece as well as objective lens so to find out total magnification the eyepiece magnification uh, multiplied by objective lens magnification will give you the answer that's all about our video Thanks for you watching. Please subscribe on my channel and don't forget to smash the like button. Thank you so much.